Uh, great drops. How's it? I'll be doing good, man. Um, today we are going to be focusing on our past question paper. Um, one of our past question papers is on question two. Um, that says we must refer to figure two point one on city climate. Okay. Yes. Um, urban climate. It's under urban climate. Yes. So. Um, the figure 2.1 is this one okay as you can see so let's analyze our annexure our diagram that we are given in this figure um, you can see we have um, our inversion okay we have inversion which is a um, and there is a in the upper of this inversion that is pushing inversion downwards um, there's also air that is pushing the inversion upwards okay yes which is terrestrial radiation we also have sun rays that are hitting the city which is B okay um, we can also see the buildings we can also see um, yes and then and, and so we also have C C which is far from um, the city from the city center okay um, we which can be maybe rural areas or residen residential zones and so on okay yes um let's go to our questions okay let's jump okay so it says um choose the correct words from there from those given in brackets so we're choosing the correct words um in these sentences that are being given here okay write only the words next to the question number okay yes so we are just going to only write the the word next to the to the question number okay um but the way i was going to do it i was just going to underline okay you are just going to underline the correct word okay yes so for instance a 2.1.1 instead of writing down i'm going to underline if it's day or night okay so 2.1.1 says um the sketch shows a day or night situation okay so this get the sketch is it shows a day or night situation it is obviously a day situation yes it's during the day okay as you can see that the invasion layer is upwards is lying in the upper layer um there are also the very first thing is that you can see the sun rays okay the sun rays we also we only experience sun rays during the day okay yes um that is hitting or striking um the city sun rays meaning that it's during the day okay let's go and say it's during the day okay it's during the during the day so question 2.1.2 says the inversion layer is found at a higher or lower altitude during the night so do we find inverted layer in a higher in a higher altitude or lower altitude during the night in a lower altitude okay we find it in a in a lower altitude why because during the night there is more cold subsiding air okay that is pushing the inversion layer downwards okay that's the reason it's in the lower altitude okay let's go to 2.1.3 the inversion layer increases or decreases pollution concentration of the over the city during the night so does the inversion layer increases or decreases the, pol the pollution concentration over the city during the night? It increases the pollution concentration in the city during the during the night. It increases, okay? Yes. It increases because it blocks, okay? It blocks all of the pollution that is being distributed from the factories from the buildings in the city and an end okay so it blocks and it keeps it around the city so the pollution can't escape because the invasion layer is blocking the pollution from from escaping 
from the city okay that's how it goes so that's why it increases the pollution concentration over the city during the night 2.1.4 says the heating of the city at b is the result of multiple reflection of heat or terrestrial radiation okay so this question says at b okay let's look at b b is around the city okay as you can see also there is uh, some kind of um heat that is going through there so it says the question 2.1.4 says the heat the heating of the city at b is the result of multiple reflection of heat or terrestrial radiation it is the multiple reflection of heat okay not a terrestrial radiation it is a multiple um reflection of heat okay as you can see that the sun rate strikes at this point then it reflects to this point then it also from this point it reflects to this point that's why it is multiple reflections of heat if it was terrestrial radiation terrestrial radiation this is whereby the warmth or the warmth that is kept okay by the objects on the earth's surface even the soil the land um, the stones and an end so when that warmth is leaving okay those particular subject objects i mean this is whereby we are seeing or experiencing terrestrial radiation okay this is whereby the hot or the warmth or the warm air is leaving the these kind of objects buildings stones and so on in the earth surface okay that is terrestrial radiation let's move on okay let's move to 2.1.5 the channeling of wind between tall building increases or decreases the wind speed so the channeling of the winds between these tall buildings does in increases or decreases the wind speed so it increases the the wind speed okay as you can see it increases the the wind speed okay it's 2.1.5 so 2.1.6 says temperature increases or decreases from p to c so from p here okay let me raise that okay so sorry so from p this is p in the city and these are maybe rural areas yes so um from p to c if you're moving away from p to c the temperature decreases okay the temperature decreases because at least at c there are some trees there are some vegetation um there are water bodies and an end but it be the only 12 buildings dark building that attracts more more sun rays okay making it more to be to to be hot around the city as you can also see that this is the urban heat island okay this one tells you these temperatures are lower here but as you go towards the city they are increasing okay yes so b to c the temperature is decreasing so temperature decreases from b to c let's go to 2.1.7 1.7 says the influence of evapotranspiration on cooling the air will be less or more at B compared to C so it will be less okay the influence of evapotranspiration on cooling the air will be less at B okay compared to to C why because evapotranspiration and this is whereby um, some some 
I can say some some moisture okay some fresh moisture which has high content of oxygen is leaving what the vegetation such as trees and so on as you can see that at sea we have more trees okay we have at least trees in rural areas but at b there are no trees that's why it's going to be it's going to be less at b compared to to c because ever transpir transpiration is very important in terms of lowering the temperatures down cooling the te cooling the air and so on making it fresh okay yes so let's move to 2.1.8 it says area b is associated with more or less cloud coverage compared to area c so is it in the city is the city has more or less cloud cover compared to to rural areas that's what the question is asking us so the answer is there will be more area p is associated with more cloud coverage compared to area c okay yes if you understand urban heat island as well as the polish dome you will understand what i'm talking about okay yes um but it's um it's obvious okay so it's more okay that's how it goes uh, that's the end of um our current lesson um our current revision by the way um i uh, wish you have a great and wonderful day see you in the next following video please don't forget to subscribe um cheers